How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games, and we're back with another Daz Watches. Before we get into that, I have a mini exciting announcement to make. Guys, I'm getting my own U-Tunes. That's right, I'm getting my own little miniature action figure on U-Tunes, and it's adorable. Here is a picture. Look at that. Look at that. How awesome is that? They will be available from the U-Tunes website on July 5th. Go get your mini Daz drinking tea. You know you want one. I'll also be doing a giveaway on this, guys. All you have to do is follow the link in the description below and follow one of the U-Tunes social medias and it will count as one entry. Now we've announced that, which is uh, pretty cool. Let's get on with today's video. We have reacted to some of uh, the worst fashion shows in history. So many of you have been asking me to go back and react to a uh, brand new one, which is called Thom Brown Full Winter 22-23 Fashion Show. Apparently the fashion that walks down this catwalk is catastrophic and diabolical. That's what you guys have been saying. And you know I'm all about um, giving you guys what you want, so here it goes. Let's watch the video! Why are there thousands of teddies? I'm actually digging it. though I, I like the mystique behind this one it's very cinematic and what they're wearing isn't that awful to be honest all right she looks kind of like inspector gadget on speed but you know it's it's doable passable but that's how they get you these shows always start out relatively normal and then the outfits just go off <laughs> Hats are getting bigger. What's under that hat? Trying to get cell service with that? What's the point in that? What's the point in having a briefcase it takes three people to carry? Imagine sharing a briefcase. <laughs> it's, the, it's the middle one's hat. You know when you get like flat pack furniture and you get those wooden pegs that you gotta push in the hole and glue in? <laughs> That's what he looks like. Why? Why? Something else going on here. That guy looks like the guy at the park that keeps offering me sweets. He keeps them under his hat. <laughs> that would actually work as a school uniform. Like, simplify it down a bit. And obviously the hair should not look like hemorrhoids. But other than that, you know, it's quite a look. walking kind of lopsided. It's because she's got a boulder on the side of her head. Why am I getting Disney vibes from this? <laughs> she looks like she's just stole Mickey Mouse ears from Disneyland. Respect to the models though, because they have to go backstage after walking the catwalk and wearing one outfit, and they get changed into another one. And there's a lot of layers going on here. It's brave. Or as some say in the industry, it's bold. And beautiful. <laughs> Holy Teletubbies. Is that real hair? It can't be. That's got to be stuck on. She looks like she's got BB-8 from Star Wars <laughs> on her head. This is behind the scenes of Star Wars. It's how they make him move. It's just a woman walking with him on his head. I mean, come on. The outfit, feeling it. It flows. I love the colours. Compliments each other. But that on her head? You're not even looking at the outfit anymore. I'd forget what she was wearing. I'd be thinking, what is she doing? Looks like she's got a ball of yarn on her head. Oh, Jesus. Her one slipped down on the side of her head, look. You expect a boxer to just go up to it and be like... Th -th 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 -th. <laughs> the outfits though, like the blazers and like the colours, like it's not that far-fetched. I'm not actually um hating it, funny enough. Now that's defying gravity. Not the song, 
That hairstyle is defying science. Her hair looks like the COVID strain. I mean, what? <laughs> what's the, what's the purpose here? Is she trying to help like birds nest? Look at it. That's some dog shit hair right there. That is dog shit hair. Does not look good. Oh, Tiffany showed up looking like an atom. And they're taking it away. I guarantee you everyone, even those teddies, are looking at her hair and not her outfit. Wow. Wow. Just wow. She looks like a giant Ferrero Rocher. Look at it. I wonder what it's made of. I want to squidge it. I want to see what it is. Are they getting bigger? Look at it. They're getting bigger, aren't they? They can't possibly get any bigger than this. Stand corrected. Bitch has turned up to a fashion show as a planetarium. Look at it. There's Mars, Saturn, Earth, Mercury, the moon. It's all on her head. <laughs> all that bag, though, is lush. I swear I'm straight. I, I really am. Oh, God. Someone turned up to work pissed off. She's not getting paid for this. Look how she's walking. Look! I've got to go to work looking like a lava lamp. <laughs> God, she don't look happy, does she? It's not today. Not today. It's not her day. Wow. Wow. He looks like a walking advertisement for Crayola. Look. Fabulous jacket. It's very Mad Hatter. Alice in Wonderland themed this. That's what I'm getting from this. Oh, they're closing the gates. What's going to happen now? There's still like half the video left. Now we're going to bring the models out wearing the real fashion. Oh! Everybody is emo Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Looks like a gigantic shuttlecock. Oh my god. The woman's just wearing slinkies. Wait, those are the bits that you find on aircon units, aren't they? Look at that tube. That's never long enough. And you got to run it up and filter it out a window. Defies the point, then, of actually having an air conditioner. Because you got to have a window open to poke the tube out. Fucking hell, there's so much going on here. What if you need a piss? How are you going to, like, pull your trousers down? You don't know where your trousers are under all this. They haven't even tried, have they? Like, th this tube is cut to arm length. This one's just hanging all the way down. What? Why is she wearing gigantic oven gloves? Are they crab claws? I think they're crab claws. It doesn't make a difference. Look, <laughs> this guy's me. Look, look at this guy's face. He's like, the fuck is that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. I'd look like that as well if I was forced to wear that. Can't get much worse, can it? It fucking can! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, she's cosplaying as Wimbledon! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> oh 
god! They've stretched a cricket jumper over a ball! Oh! Oh god! They're like walking on like children's um, toy blocks, aren't they? That, that's not practical. Have you ever stepped on one of those things? Fuck, god, it hurts. She looks like if you put fuzz that you found from the back of the sofa under a microscope. That's what it looks like. Lord. You know, in life, you know, comfort is everything. So why not just take your own sofa with you when you go out? <laughs> oh, look at it. It's a sofa. I, I, I don't even know what this one looks like. Jesus Christ. It looks like one of those stress relievers that people fondle with. Stressing me out just looking at it. It just bears no resemblance to clothes, fashion. Like, I don't get it. My God. He looks like the... He looks like when I've put my AirPods and my iPhone charger in a bag and they've all got tangled up. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I mean, we're at the end of the fashion show now. I think we've seen the most bizarre and awkward ones already. And if that's where fashion is going, um, I'm out. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. You weren't kidding when you said it's one of the most bizarre fashion shows uh, we've ever seen. I think it's definitely up there with uh, with the rest of them. Like, love, cross my channel, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Stay dazzling. <laughs>